Okay, well that's a wrap. We're heading out in Nepal. Um, great trek to Mount Everest Base Camp. Boarding China's Southern airplane now. And um, yeah, what a journey, what a trip. And ready for the long flight. Drink a lot of water, move around, try to travel comfortably. Okay, so we had a layover in Guangzhou, China. And uh, we came into the executive lounge, China Southern VIP lounge. Super comfortable, you know, we had food, we, we uh, relaxed in some lounge chairs. We were able to have a shower, just get some rest and uh, clean up. And it really takes the sting out of the trip. It feels like a, a new day, you know, relaxed in their fully reclining chairs and the hot shower and bathroom and cleaned up and feel really comfortable, ready for our next leg of the journey and ready to get home. Yeah, the China Southern Lounge right here, boom, is, uh, is definitely uh, a good way to go in your travels and uh, help you relax. And it's all about enjoying the journey, right? And it's all about traveling comfortably, especially on these long flights overseas and when you're doing it on a regular basis. So, yep, getting ready to fly to LA, 14 hours in the air. Okay, we're boarding our flight now to Los Angeles from Wangzhou, China. And uh, nice connection through um, Wangzhou from Kathmandu. A few hour layover, and uh, this should be like a 12, 14 hour flight. I don't remember exactly. But um, we're cleaned up because that airport lounge is definitely the way to go. So the late night out of Kathmandu, you know, you're sitting in the airport, it's midnight, you're tired, you want to sleep, you get on the flight, you kind of sleep. Not great, and then we had about a five hour layover here in the airport, went to the VIP lounge, and it makes all the difference to rest in a reclining chair, get up, take a shower, have something to eat. Now I feel refreshed, now I feel ready for this next, next leg, this long flight, and we'll head to LA, connect from LA into Salt Lake for us to finish our journey, but um, good, good travels. This is uh, China Southern Business Class Seats. Very nice, comfortable, fully laid back bed. Kind of captioning the button on the TV. Got a window seat right here. I actually like to change my clothes. I put on some sweatpants and a t shirt and um, keep my other clothes above and nice and fresh. and. I wake up and get close to Los Angeles. I'll go uh, clean up a little bit and uh, use the bathroom and, and uh, put back on my my travel clothes. So travel comfortably. That's the that's the uh, message I'd say. Try to be as comfortable as you can if you travel a lot, and that way you can uh, relax and rest. And and it's not such a chore. It's um, comfortable travel and that's always better than uncomfortable travel so lounges the uh, flight upgrades if you can get them um, I know it does if you're not traveling all the time then then the flight upgrades can be more expensive but even if you're in economy class you can um, wear comfortable clothes or bring something to change into your flight and uh, then change a lounge afterwards and and um, you know, try to get up and move around the plane a bit, hydrate, you know, do all the things that are going to help you be more comfortable um, in the air, get better rest, and help you get through the jet lag when you arrive at your next destination, say from Kathmandu to the U.S. We're talking about, about a 12-hour time change, so the more you can arrive refreshed and ready to go, it's going to make you feel more comfortable 